everybody, this is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Hopefully you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to mind you all hit the subscribe notification bell. The subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because here we are. Well, we're back and we're ready to do something. We're about ready to do something. I'm going to go hit up this, this greenie right here. What's up, greenie? You stuck? There we go. He just hit me too. That was rude. Anyway. Oh, God. We don't need any more of these. We're good to go on our greenie heads. We have room. Oh, my God. Um, let's put you up here. There you go. There you hang out the other ones. <laughs> anyway, been super busy. Um, I've been to like, actually crafted up some tier two, uh, concrete, getting some more wood out of the way. Uh, I got to go get some more water. I've been sitting and scared, staring at Scrapbot for a while. And I am, oh, we got to give you, oh, one thing I've noticed. I think like if you feed your, your guy. Like, honestly, uh, Bob the Globe Blob has uh, gone for a couple walks since we've gotten him. Better go find him again in the ocean. I think he's been hanging out with his family or something like that. But anyway, um, so anyway, we have, there we go. I think if you feed him regularly, they don't despawn. Because uh, this the, he's been hanging out ever since I installed this. Like, he's like, oh, dude, got a food thingy. So uh, you could actually probably set the timer up, like, if you just wanted it to, like, like keep him around and go like this and then just turn it on and just let it sit up and then every minute it feeds them another time while you're playing because it's cardboard super cheap to make so you know whatever you know that i think that that works out pretty good oh also uh i want to thank you guys so much for the support on the last video uh it, it's been it's been pretty unreal you guys are just super cool and i really do appreciate it uh it's it's like this has been been doing a lot of work and you guys really, really, really make it like, like awesome. I think it's about to hit like 4,000 likes or something like that. So you guys, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And today we're going to step up the bar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on a base. Uh, I need to get, I figured the spot we're going to do is going to be where we, where we talked about before. Um, we're going to move there. I've got a whole bunch of mats coming together. I think we're going to, well, I know we're going to use. I've decided to use this as like the main floor floor. Because it has this on here. I've done some grinding to get some more paint ammo because you can we can paint these squares and it'll keep the metal trim look and then the squares themselves change color. So we're gonna do that for that. We're gonna use regular concrete that I've already already uh, you know grinded out too. I've made some more concrete too, and uh, we'll use wood for trim. And then we'll be using other mats too, like glass. We'll be using some of the tier three metal and a bunch of other stuff. But I think what we're gonna do is get the foundation set up for our crafting room. Um, I, I have. To, I know I've got a lot of interactive chests, but I need to make some more. Uh, I need to get some more mats worked out. And then what we'll do is meet up at the place to be and uh, we'll get started. We're at least going to get the foundation started in the room, the basement set up and the main floor. At least I'm going to have to make two more craft bots because I want three craft bots connected into the system we're going to use and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, I just want to say hi and I'm going to get back to work and I'll see y'all in, in probably an hour or so. You guys hold on. All right, welcome back. Just doing some testing. Um, this is def this vehicle is not made for hauling for sure because when I give it gas, yeah, the front end definitely lifts up. I want I built the whole trailer in concrete just to see this. Um, so I, I, we have some amazing torque with our system. Uh, so when we build our hauler, we'll need to account for it. Well, I already had talked about what we're going to do for the hauler, but I definitely need to bring into weight, especially with what I've got planned, um, with the power uh, on it. But Hey, we're getting pop a wheelies like, like, like it's nobody's business. So you can see I've got three craft bot bots and am I stuck on a tree? I am. Stop, 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 stop. Not this, not this again. No, no Wait, I can just lift you. Oh yeah. That's much easier. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the, I've got three craft bots now. And uh, one of them is our level three guy. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have to put some weight on this thing. It could it could pull it if I had to wait on it. I don't have to wait on it. Okay, cool. This is good learning. Uh, the one thing if you guys notice with with what we do when we learn when we do new things with builds and stuff like that is I like to have the whatever we initially built for a, a certain amount of time to get familiar with it and find the kinks and stuff like that instead of just immediately jumping into another build with the same thing because I feel like you know again like stuff like this needs to be I need to experience it. Um, also, and just kind of work out how we're going to manage it. Hello, sir. Can I, can I crush you right quick? There you go. Let's just do that guy. There we go. I'll come back and pick up all the parts here in a second. Come on. You want to get under anything? Come on. Come on. I'll slam you. You got to catch up first. You're not going to catch up. Okay. Peace out. And this still goes on, 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 on flat land or flattish land. I'm still, still trying to turn by the way. 
okay let's let's just stop this let's stop the madness so cool all right so i know that i don't mind showing you the good and the bad of something there to be learned hey there's another head i don't need great i better grab that for it. yeah because those like to fly into another land but i figured i'd show you that with the moving i'm bringing these guys up here we're gonna be setting it up um why am i doing this we're just gonna carry you learning um i did drive it all the way here by the way and was doing it in the low gear and it was doing just fine again if we had weight on this man uh, and built the trailer not the way i did i just want again wanted to see how it would handle it um we wouldn't have this issue so let me go ahead and get the stuff moved over here because i've got enough blocks made we got some other parts made and it's time to start really getting into the stuffs we'll be right back Okay, I can confirm, definitely. Uh, normally, something like this that's loaded down with stuff would, would not be moving at the same speed, so we have plenty of torque. <laughs> so, two, two different tests. I mean, this isn't much, but I figured to show it to you. We're loaded down with stuff. We're about to head over. I got some uh, concrete already over at the farm. We're building next to the farm-ish, and uh, it's we're on our way. Craft bots are already there. I uh, scaled up. You know, I scaled the side of the mountain and got it up there, so I just got to get this bad boy over there. We get beginning. Let's figure out to show you. Not that much of an issue. We're going the same speed. That's not a bad deal at all. So fast. I did have to pump up my shocks though, because they were definitely compressing. <laughs> the serious, serious compression. I mean, I, at the front, I probably added a little bit too much. I liked a little bit of give in them. But anyway, cool. Let me get up here. I don't want to spend time jumping around trying to get to the spot. And uh, we'll get this thing ready to go. I'm excited. Are you excited? All right, we're back, and I gotta clear some of the spots here. It is uh needs needs a little bit of tidy up this so we can actually fit everything in here that we need to do. I'll I'll do. I'm gonna go to third person here in a second so you can see the layout of the land because that's really important. Now, there's so, some of you that are here from like before the scrap mechanic survival started, and one of my favorite things to do in most survival games is building. Uh, building is like one of my things. I, I really like building. And one of the things I like to do before I start building, I call it blocking, uh, which is kind of when now we're playing a game actually that has blocks in it. But um, I like to check out an area for its size and kind of get an idea of what the lay of the land is really wanting it to become to become the base. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's what I do. I like to like listen to it, let it tell me its secrets, and then then we then we make something happen. <laughs> But, well, it, that's kind of how I do it. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up these right quick because they need to go away because this is going to become, well, it's going to become our storage basement feeding area of stuff. You'll see how why I feel like that on this area because if you look, we got a good amount of space down here and then it leads out over there and we could do like a warehouse door or something here. And then up here, we have a higher up area which could be built off of the can actually make a full size floor coming out from here over the the warehouse area and the storage so my thoughts are like maybe we can make um in here we're going to end up having a storage loop going on that feeds up to the main floor where our craft bot central area will be with tubes coming up and stuff like that um i haven't been doing that in our other base because honestly there's no room and i didn't feel like moving anything it was fine it worked well enough i was pushing through it but now is the time to get uh refine our system and have it cleaned up i wrote a list down of all the non like blocks like components like used to craft with the craft bot and i think there's about 11 or 12 um and then we have blocks as well so we need to account for a system that will handle at least 12 different things also i want to have some side storage as well and have it all interconnected between three craft bots and that's what the goal is and coming off of here uh i did have to use some of my a little bit of my concrete but um i want to be above the grass level because i don't want to go oh and in my theme i forgot to talk about oh yeah i forgot we're locked into a square so oh this sucks really no oh it's die uh why can't i rotate you 45 degrees i want to go 45 degrees oh hmm Let's just see something. Oh my god, this is okay. This is the challenge. We we, we said it was gonna be a challenge, and it, my god, it's gonna be a challenge. Cause then, oh, okay, we might be able to line up something to here if we come out more. Okay. Um, uh, crap. Well, it is what it is. I I didn't even think about the angle of the blocks. That really kind of sucks. I really wish we could rotate forty five. I could make a forty five work a little bit easier. Uh, but we don't have that. 
So we'll have to come up with some interesting shapes that will work within our system. Uh, let me grab my concrete blocks out. I'm going to go ahead and block out an area to kind of get an idea of what type of shapes we can get working in the area. All right, welcome back. It's the next day in the game, and I've kind of got something blocked out. Um, let's see if we can see it better up here. And I did some block testing up here to be right over the grass. Uh, this is the best shape right now that I, I kind of want to work with. I don't like rocks poking through it unless I'm trying to do a facade inside of it. And there's not enough straight uh, faces on these rocks to really capitalize on that. So we're going to do as much as we can. I don't like too many squiggles in the build. So right now, like these corners here are probably going to change uh, pending on how it goes. Because uh, I think too many squiggles really takes away from the cohesiveness. Uh, these straight lines here look great uh, for what we're trying to do. I can see our craft bot storage area being here no problem and then having a bay in here to unload like mats as we come back from gathering also we're gonna have to build a some parking lots for the uh explorers and then i think we're gonna do a, a lift system on the this side and on that side uh if i can find a good drop off at least to work it out there's also a dip down here but i plan to do a connection between the two not this kind of connection this is a temporary uh between the two places uh and i want to tie it into the parking lot here and then have a nice platform there because that entire top area i'm going to turn into uh farming once we get back to more r d in the farming department just you know trying to do a lot of things in this game limited amount of time and also grinding uh just see so if you don't know too i have been um all the time i've been spending playing the game uh, part of it's been trying to get episodes. The other part has actually been trying to get mats done for the base. Uh, and that's, that's been, and been, and been a bit of a challenge, uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, the, so the back wall right now, we're going to go ahead and just do it in concrete and see how she looks and kind of go from there. We know about the height is going to be, I might toy around with that some, cause I don't like completely flat floors. Uh, and especially when we have all this like, like cool, like blockage we could work with. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be, is that right? Yeah. We're going to be doing a lot of different things with um, with height variances inside the base as long as it's cohesive. Also, a theme. We're going to go with a theme. Uh, since we're playing Scrap Mechanic and we have all these scrap parts around, I wanted to make it look kind of like Scrappy-ish, but not. I wanted to have it like to be a, a high-quality kind of style. Uh, so that's where the tech stuff's going to be coming in and the Tier 2 and Tier 3 concrete along with the Tier 3 metal um and we we might end up switching out we can switch out the floors later upstairs wait oh is this gonna have a little pokey okay i can deal with that much if that's we'll probably not have that covered anyway yeah it's a little tiny bit that'll have to do already going through all these mats pretty quickly uh <laughs> i'm excited about it i don't know it's, it's good actually to finally see something get built from all the mats just sitting in chests and it'll free up some a lot of chests that i've had just waiting to get emptied let's uh you want to lift yeah but you should be okay yeah, we should be all right. Shit is a very powerful word in survival games. This one is no exception. Like, I should have landed that. <laughs> Let's do this instead. Is that right? It is not. Great. Let's do it from this side, then. Let's do that. Great. Okay, great. And I could probably walk on this ledge and do this. Wish we had the thing in Minecraft where we could hit... Uh, well, I have it set to control... Because almost all survival games I play crouches control. But I wish they had it to where uh, we could hold that and like go to the very ledge and not fall off. That'd be great too. Great! Is that right? That is. Okay. And so this is going to be having an opening. We'll end up working it out. I do like some natural terrain showing through. But uh, right now we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to we're going to get it like to a level point and then we can make everything else work. Right now, just getting a workshop up and running uh, is super duper important for me. And I, I don't know if you guys like seeing this or what I'm doing here, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these up. I guess I'll be doing lots of little blurbs as the building continues and just coming back and showing some progress with what's happening. And you guys can see how it's going. So let me get to finishing up some more walls and uh, I'll return. Okay, welcome back. I've done some math in my brain. And I'm going to need to do make some more concrete. <laughs> uh, the back walls are going to be solid. The front walls, I originally didn't think it was going to be this high up off the ground because I, I didn't think about the angling we were going to do. So I'm probably going to go ahead and add windows. I do have a decent amount of glass blocks. And I've added in brick uh, behind the front of here. And we're going to add some more to the facade later on and maybe some nice, cool 
uh, detail work. Most detail work for me comes near the end unless something like super awesome like strikes me and I've got to do it right then. That looks like that one is, is that one right or wrong? It's right, okay. Because I want it in by one compared to the lip above it. So uh, right now, this is kind of what I've got so far. I'm going to probably have to stop for a while after we finish up using our blocks because I have to go get more blocks made. Uh, I do have a lot of stone chilling and I have a lot of um, other stuff chilling. So, uh, and you're hanging out chilling. Good. All right. And so, I mean, I'm going to be good to go and stuff like that. We have some more bricks in here. Excellent. Um, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and put the, the bricks across the bottom and it just needs to be seen out the front side. Um, even though I don't think it's going to be that visible, but I'll know. And that's the thing in the back here. I'm, I'll probably add it in just to fill in the gapping again, because I'll know. And that's important to make sure I know that it's right. All right, and this goes here, and we're, we actually can stop right before the rocks. That's where it comes. Okay, we still need to go down a little bit further here, maybe. Like that, and then come across. Actually, let's just do the top row here. And I've been doing little tie-ins with it, too, so I'll put it like a, a tie-in right here, just in case, you know, we have something happen. That's why you see the occasional brick there for now, um, just to get it. And no, I did not fall off and have to use my lift to get back up. I did not. That is zero deaths is the is the, is the the mantra for the day pretty much ish <laughs> all right let's go down there okay great great okay now let's pull this across actually let's stop it right about there and then use this guy right here all the way across screw it we'll just we'll, we'll commit we'll commit to that and then this one goes in through here and it looks like it can go down uh, that's a real tricksy one right there buddy We'll follow that same route across the bottom. So this way we've got our front little like foundationals coming together and we will run this all the way down. I am not, if you guys watch any of my previous series on other games, uh, you know that I don't like floaty time unless it's like meant to be floaty time. And what that usually means is more mats, but guess what? It looks better in the end. Uh, we might be able to actually add something down into this hole too. I don't know yet. We we're still, we we're kind of like need to get the workshop up and running before we get into aesthetics or more functions in the area. And we're just kind of throwing blocks in. I hope you guys don't mind hanging out while I put blocks up. It's just kind of like, this did not happen ever before. Just saying, don't, don't, no, don't, don't, don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. Um, and then jump. And then jump, ah, I didn't jump, jump. Ah, we're in the hole. Oh, I'm stuck in the hole. Stop. All right. You guys know what I'm doing. Um, I'm probably going to have to just take some more time and go craft up some more uh, blocks. I do have plenty of chemicals and water, um, but I did leave my stone back at the other place inside of my uh, Scorpion Mark II. So, yeah, we got to we got to manage that. Anyway, you guys know what I'm doing. I was trying to hang out, but then I fell down and now I got to do all this again. And I did it again. Okay. Anyway, we'll be right back. All right, I figured that since uh, we, I'm going to have some more grinding to do, we might as well try out using the tier two concrete for floors and see how oh, it looks. <laughs> Happy days for JB. Wow, that does look so good. And we can paint the trim to kind of, you know, accent the sides and stuff like that. I think that would work out great. Or we could raise it up one and put like a... a um, not chair railing, but whatever, whatever. Oh my God. And crown molding can be used with other things too. Just all the different things. Oh my God. That looks so good. Okay. This, this looks, this is okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I was, was, was yes. <laughs> all right. How many? Oh my God. Oh my God. We are going to have to use so many mats. That's what I get. But hey. Does that, is that actually all of them? You gotta be, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we won't have enough of this floor. Well, this is good to know, um, the actual quantities, but we'll be here to craft it here. So the only thing will be like getting the stone here from my, um, well, from my, my miner and stuff like that. That is going to be the biggest, biggest thing. Um, and I do want to use wood for some certain things as well, but I just wanted to, I want, I figured since we're here, we could just go and throw this in and see how it starts shaping up. And man, oh man, that floor is starting to look good. That's going to be a lot of paint, too. I have farmed up some paint ammo already, but it's going to be a lot of everything. Um, 
that's that's all of it actually wow i like how the floors look though i can't wait to finish this in here and then the side here i was thinking about we could do um and again it switch up the textures and stuff like that maybe have this as be as a the, like a lower wall and then i've got some glass over here uh is it here no here no here yes and i got some oh and there's the rest of my concrete yes um I got some glass in here now, and we could use this. I was going to have this filled in, but since this room's going to be so tall, I feel like it would look, look bad without some sort of thing going on. So let's assume, let's go ahead and not assume anything, and let's just go ahead and get this up. So yeah, oops, that's not right edging. I didn't do the edging right on this, did I? I kind of like that. How's it look from down here? Oh, that looks really good, too. That means I could save some mats, though, by not using tier 2 on this edging. So if we take this out and then replace it with this, like I had kind of originally thought, yeah, we'll do that. And then pull you out here and pull this in here. And then this way we can have a nice looking interior line on the wall and then have the exterior have that nice little, little, little thing sticking out on the side there. Give it some flavor. I still want to go back and probably end up changing some things to give full on flavor, max flavor potential. And that, yep, this is it here. Up two. Up two. Up two. And I'll let you guys know, like, on base building episodes, I don't like leaving something of these part, like, whatever section we're working on unfinished for the episode. So, um, I have a lot of things to get done to get it done. And hopefully we can get it done in a decent amount of time. This is wrong. This needs to be changed. Let's change this right here. So you right here. Oh, and it has a trim on there too. That should be our stopping points for it. I love how that has that border there. I really wish we could force a border on certain parts of it. That would make me super happy. <laughs> yeah, the oops, oops. Oh, we don't have a okay, so I might bring this oh, oh I already built that wall up. Oh my god! Uh, let's get to the glass. Let's get to the glass. I don't talk about glass, so let's get to the glass first. So let's put, let's say we're going to have a corner, a full corner here. And let's just do this so we can let the light in. And then we'll have like a three space and then bring this up. We'll have, these will end up being taller. Just want to see how we look here. And there's a higher tier glass as well, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's like two more tiers of glass. Let's go over to the craft bot central right now. Uh, we, oh, that might be good too. The tile one. And then there's the armored. I don't think armored's going to look that good, but the regular glass tile. Oh, it costs the same. I didn't realize that. Oh, I thought it used the base one mat. Oh, I still have some sand left and some embers, but not much. Hmm. <sighs> Let's just see what this looks like here. Uh, we'll just start with this corner, and that has a two spot. So this will be. Let's clean up this right quick, and this two spot will be like that. And just to see, and just seeing, and maybe we could do a focal point as well. And that's all the glass I have on me right now. Okay, I have to be really careful with this stuff too. I don't want to break it. I want to do some little window sills too, just so it's not flat. We have a lot of stuff to get done. Okay, well, that's what I got so far. It uh, looks like I got some more work to do. I will be back after we're done getting some more mats made. So, you guys, hold on! Okay, welcome back. I have to say, we're about six hours into recording this episode, and I have to apologize. I thought we'd have more done today. Um, we got a little bit more stuff to do, but I thought we'd at least get to where we have the craft bot set up on the top floor, or the bot, the... the See, this is the basement, and what we're standing on is going to be about what the ground floor is. Uh, so it's it's uh, uh, there's a lot of mats. Um, I don't mind grinding it, but the base is probably not going to be done in a few episodes. I'm pretty certain of that. We're going to have to do the base in phases. I have to get the craft bots up ASAP. I might just do something temporary on our floors here, but I at least want to show you some of the ideas I had for stuff. So, um, I ended up changing the walls to where at least where these cut in, it was like, even with this line, let me go back here with this line here. Um, they're still going to get cut off long ways, but at least this looks squared up nicely. So that's what I changed there. Also, I got these in and I got some ideas. I had the craft bots. Are they done yet? 
they're done now. Uh, craft bots crafted up some more brick and some more concrete, some more tier two concrete and stuff. But I was thinking about like just as a quick reference thing, is maybe putting in like brick in the on the basement floor here. Like we have actually, I should probably just do that. Use that to measure instead of. So that's full center there. So if we go up here, we can use that to measure. And let's come over three. And let's come over three. And kind of to break up, like, just having concrete. I mean, that's the main thing. There's how much tier two I got left this. I thought I had some... There's regular glass. I got some glass somewhere else. Uh, I did... Did I get it over here? Is it over here? Okay, cool. I had some tile glass. So I was thinking about doing a mixture of tile glass. So just having the flat glass in there. That's kind of boring. Uh, maybe doing, like, a borderline of the tiled... This is the ceilings. Are, the window's gonna go up higher because the ceilings are definitely gonna go up higher too. Maybe do some designs with it too, and then fill the center in with this. Maybe do some more with the tile too, or paint them a different color so they pop more to help break it up. But I think something like this looks okay, like that. There, and then um, probably fill in this side here for like for shelving or something just to make it look nice and tight and then over here we'll do the same thing we did on the other side which is pull this as far as we can pull this as far as we can is that right yeah that's my depth i i like i said we've been playing this a long time tonight uh let's see and then how wide is this guy we'll at least keep this consistent so that's six and we have let's see one two three four five there's five and that would make six right there and that would be center so let's go up with this one too. I just want to do it so we have some sort of reference on how this is going to look if we decide to go this route. And you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments too. And again, like I said, I apologize. I thought we'd have more done. Uh, this game is super grindy. Actually, that stays like that. Uh, this game is super grindy. I mean, I've been grinding a lot, but like from the, the what I, I didn't really do math on on overall like size costs, you know, like to do something on a larger scale because I don't like to build small bases. I like to build big bases. Uh, that have like meaning to them, I guess you could say, other than just the, the, the spot that we stay at, you know, yeah, that's even. So we'll just pull this across here for now. Like I said, we're going to probably end up changing up the heights. But um, and then I also like to add some uh, coverings and some windowsills and stuff like that to add some flavor to it. Let's see how that looks. I guess when the sun comes through, we can do something, too. And that is, is that all my glass? I guess that's all the glass I have right now. And then probably do a few more rows of brick above that when it comes to it, because I want to do a cool little overhang and stuff like that when it, it's there. Also, I had an idea. So, this is what's going to happen. We're going to have the craft bots up top on the top floor. And then I'm going to use vacuum tubes to come down to the basement where we'll have all our storage at. Uh, let's just assume this is where we're going to end up doing our storage at. And I'm going to put little feet down. So we can kind of like have a table kind of set up. Did I grab? Yes, I did. And I don't even know if I have enough wood on me right now either. So this is this has been interesting. And I'm not complaining. It's just uh, this is going to be a lot of work. I, I like to play the first, especially the first time I play through a game. I like to play it as vanilla as possible and get as much done as possible. And uh, it's just interesting how much that is. <laughs> so I was even thinking about with some of these we had looted from the um, the warehouse. Can we put this on the edge instead of that? And would it look okay? That actually doesn't look bad. It kind of circumvents the nice metal edge we have on there, but that might be something to put around the edges completely here. And you go away. And then we can do this. And do the same thing here, maybe? I, I kind of like that. And, like, with my builds with vehicles and stuff, like, I, I want form with function. So, like, the idea for everything here is just to get, get something that looks nice and fits the area. We can paint a lot of this, too. Like, these floors will get painted. Same with the walls. We're going to have to mix it up. I moved some chest over here just to show you guys what I was thinking at the very least. So, if we have 12 of them, we're going to have to do an attaching system from the roof down to here. And then we'll have to work out something like, I don't know, like... So it has to be something like, like, I have to use all three sides, too. And if we're coming down from the top, we would have to do this. Uh, see, 
and that's something else I need to work out too, is how to line these up in a manner to do what we want. But we're going to have them lined up in a row and then have tubing going all the way up and then having a couple tables in here. This isn't centered correctly either. I don't have to slide over. Get a couple tables lined up in a row right, and then also have the chest interconnected. So the entire system's connected. And the stuff I replace completely, like the full chest of, like the chemical and the water, um, I'm going to have it where I can just pick it up and then put the new one on, you know, or pick up the empty one and bring in the new one. Or I'll have like storage in here too. But that's kind of the point. And like I said, it's going to run all the way up to the ceiling. And through the ceiling, we'll make a cool ceiling hole for it. But like as tall as this is, it's still going to have to get... Oh, that was not tall enough. Thank God. <laughs> and it still would have to go at least two more higher if we decide not to put it in a mid floor. Which we might end up doing with the ceiling height, but I kind of want the the, the the storage area to kind of have this nice large ceiling area. Um, just because it's kind of be like the well the storage area. Um, we could stack these two, but again, we'll, I'll have to toy around with it. I really thought I'd have more. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll just remove the craft bots into here and start stuff. Because I still need to go grind more components. I need to go grind more circuitry. We need to go ahead and hit up more stone, some more metal. Oh, yeah. And I'm, I, this is all the food I have left of the regular foods. Like, I, I had a whole bunch of it already done. So I'm going to do a cycle on the farm. Uh, two cycles, maybe, just so we're good. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know how much work this has taken to get even this much stuff up. Because, you look at, if watch, uh, I'll remove this. I don't care. We'll just see how much it puts in my inventory. We have 151, 256, plus, you know, okay, I still had more in here. But you can see, like, there, it just, it, here, we can just do this and put it back up. Yeah, so that's 220 just for that section. So even with like when I had like what uh, like 25, 30 stacks of concrete done, it's it's not enough. And the same with the floors. The floors themselves are we have a lot of floor space to do, uh, and that, that's just how it is. But man, uh, hopefully again, I like to have more productivity for a video, but this is taking a very long time. Yeah, hopefully you can see the potential of what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, I can't wait to get into some automation, have the cool doors, have some, uh, I have some interesting ideas for the floor changes, also to get the, the vehicles up in a vehicle area, um, and just like, and then get the, everything. So this is taking a while and it probably, like I said, I'm going to be doing a little bit here and there in episodes, uh, every other one or every third episode, probably base building until we can get at least the base of the part. I'm going to really try to knock out some mats though. But anyway, that is the time we got for today. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, please slap the like button. It does help me a lot. Really do appreciate it. And um, as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.